It was an era when Tulsa was known as oil capital of the world. We were the center of the petroleum business. And when people wanted to spend their oil money, they went downtown to Main Street, the city's best shopping center. There were always crowds down here shopping, and uh, they dressed up. You never came downtown in slacks. Of course, hardly anyone wore slacks then. And uh, you wore white gloves. I mean, you dressed up. We're coming up on the... On the Gwen and Bill Veach are longtime Tulsans. She grew up here. He's been here more than 50 years. They were regular visitors to downtown in the days when Maine was a street, not a mall. Even though the old stores have vanished, the Veaches pretty well remember what was where. Crestus was also on that corner right there. And Woolworth was right in here by Penny's. Well, that's I right. Mean, Woolworth they had was everything. in here. Now, here's Renberg's right here. And I think Clark's Good Clothes was right here, wasn't it? Clark's and Renberg's were just a few of the local stores on Main Street. There were also favorites like Frug's, Vandiver's, and Brown Duncan at 4th and Main. There were also national chain department stores, Penny's and Sears. You could spend an entire day riding the escalators from the top floor to the bargain basement. You know, my big Saturday was to come shopping on Saturday morning with my mother, and then we would go to lunch, maybe at uh, Brown Duncan's or the different eating places, tea rooms, and then go to a movie. Weren't there four theaters downtown? Yes, Rialto, four. Majestic, and uh, uh, the Ritz, and then that little theater down here. Yes. Further. Um, Orpheum. Oh, the Orpheum. But it was right. large. That's an old building. Pat Murda is another oil man who remembers downtown's glory days. We caught up with him at Fifth and Main, where Bartlett Square is today. This was the higher dollar part of the of the of Main Street, and that had Streets Clothing Store and Wolf's. And Jenkins Music Store was on down the street there, and we used to go in there, you know, and play records and not buy much. There was a time when Main Street was busy even at night. The store stayed open late, and the street was lit with great neon signs. Oh, yeah, there were people on the street at night here up until 10 or 11 o'clock, you know, and the movies let out the, the early show that the kids all went to was at 7.30 and it got out at 9.30, and the late movie was from 9.30 to 11.30. So you had people on the street here until 11.30 at night. The neon lights and retail action left downtown long ago. In the 1970s, Main Street was replaced by a pedestrian mall. The city is planning to reopen part of Main to traffic again, but the excitement of old Main Street is gone forever. You know, this is really kind of making me sad because I think about the way things used to be and everything was so much simpler.